the Commission, what the European Union has, has decided is um, to restrict the entry into um, the Schengen area, uh, the wider Schengen area, and the EU countries that are not part of, of uh, Schengen um, temporarily in order to ensure that uh, we limit the scope uh, of traveling that is taking place from outside the European Union to the European Union uh, so that travelers who would be coming from outside do not run the risk of being infected or if indeed they themselves uh, are carrying the virus that they do not contribute to the spread of the virus. And last week, uh, we proposed to uh, prolong uh, this um, temporary restriction uh, for access until, if I remember well, the 15th um, of May. Okay. Now, I see that there are more and more people raising their hand. Uh, this is um, very good. Um, let me see. So, are there any other questions on the entry ban to the European Union? So, anybody who wants to ask a question on something else should stop raising their hand. And anybody who still has a question on this should keep their hand raised. Good, it's working. I see hands disappearing, which is good. Uh, I still see some hands raised. So we will see if um, Athanasios has a question on this. Athanasios, if your question is on something else, I will take back uh, the floor and come back to you once we have finished with this issue of the temporary entry ban. Go ahead, Athanasios. It is on this, it is on the temporary entry ban, and it's uh, on the angle that has to do with uh, migration. Because I read today in uh, Die Welt that Erdogan is still uh, pushing migrants to the coastline with Greece. So uh, no matter uh, a formal decision for an entry ban, there is, there is going to be some pressure that's now also health uh, related. Uh, what are you going to do with that? Okay, I passed my... Uh, Hi, Athanasius. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't really know where to look. Um, I look, back. <laughs> look at your colleagues. Okay, very good. Um, look, the, uh, for the moment, I do not have any specific comment uh, to make about these, um, these press reports. Uh, we will need to look into this in, in more detail in order to be able to comment on the up-to-the-minute situation uh, on the, on the Greek-Turkish border. Yeah, in, I mean, in, um, in, in general, uh, I, I don't think I've, um, uh, I mean, we can, we can always, um, of course, refer to the specific uh, conditions that we put in the, our recommendation on the um, travel restriction to, uh, to the EU. Uh, we, um, uh, we recommended to member states, which is also what they, what they agreed, that uh, there are, that uh, any non-essential travel to the EU is stopped. That the um, that the, um, the there are there is a number of exceptions to to this rule, uh, which includes specifically everybody who has a, a, an essential um, reason to travel to the EU. For example, uh, of course, EU citizens and EU residents, uh, as well as a, um, a number of other um, other people. And of course, as regards the um, the specific situation at the Greek-Turkish border, uh, we have numerous times expressed our uh, our support to Greece in managing this extremely difficult situation. Uh, and um, we've also provided a, a very extensive uh, practical support to the Greek authorities, including through um, financing from the EU, as well as through practical uh, support uh, through the EU agencies. Okay, very good. Um, Athanasios, I think you have a follow-up, if I see correctly. No. Hold on. So I have a f I have a question from David. I suppose David Carreta. I suppose on the same issue. David, can you hear us? Vous m'entendez? Oui, très bien. Oui, bonjour et merci pour euh, cette innovation importante pour nous. Euh, C'est à propos de. Euh, l'annonce qu'ont fait l'Italie et Malte 
selon laquelle leurs ports ne sont plus des ports euh, sûrs. Et donc, euh, euh, de facto, il, on ne peut plus avoir des sauvetages de gens en mer, euh, dont des migrants, euh, entre la Libye et euh, l'Europe. Est-ce que vous, vous jugez ça euh, correct, légal et proportionné par rapport aux autres mesures que vous avez annoncées Merci. Euh, merci, David. Il, il n'est pas dans la compétence de la Commission d'indiquer, euh, de, 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 de d'avoir des opinions sur euh, la question de, 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 des ports sûrs ou, ou pas sûrs, d'indiquer des places de, 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 euh, des embarcations euh, de personnes qui sont sauvées en, en mer. Et donc, nous ne sommes pas vraiment en position de, de donner un commentaire juridique sur ces cas particuliers. Euh, il, nous, nous, sommes, euh, complètement, nous sommes totalement conscients du, euh, de la situation extrêmement difficile euh, à laquelle sont confrontés à la fois Malte et Italie euh, en termes de manque de, euh, manque de capacité euh, à la fois en termes de système de santé et en termes de personnel. Euh, et donc, euh, par, conséquence, euh, par conséquent, euh, nous, nous sommes... Euh, nous sommes conscients que les États membres sont actuellement en contact les uns avec les autres pour trouver des, euh, des solutions à cette, à cette situation exceptionnelle. Nous encourageons euh, les États membres à, à continuer à travailler ensemble dans un esprit de solidarité pour, euh, pour trouver des solutions et nous sommes prêts à fournir de l'assistance euh, si nécessaire. Ok, merci beaucoup. Euh, 